Any advice for new players that never played MMOs before? <clears throat> Play whatever class, race, combination you think is cool. Be the fantasy character that you want to be. Don't let the way that other people want you to play dictate how you play. Uh, read quest texts. Read dialogue. Actually pay attention to the story. Highly recommend doing that. Not enough people do. Um... Boob slider to the max? Probably true. Sorry. Okay. Moin Brida. So good to see you. Ah, uh, will we be... Ah, uh, we will. Now that everything's calmed down a bit, relatively speaking, I mean, I thought it might be a good time to share our progress on the weapon. I believe we're on the verge of a breakthrough. I just had fucking hella deja vu. That was weird. Well, don't keep us all in suspense. Anonymous Gifter, thank you for gifting us up to the channel. The Decimal Tour. Alexander, just thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. Forgotten, let's start by reviewing what we already know. So, an Asian is an immortal because its soul doesn't return to the ethereal realm when its host is defeated. Instead, it flees to the place that lies between our world and the void. Right. Therefore, the first step to permanently defeating an Asian is preventing its soul from making this journey. And if you recall, when we last gathered here, I had verified that White Aurasite has adequate capacity to entrap the beings, albeit only briefly. Right. Which left the small matter of their extermination. Aye. To unmake an Asian soul, one must needs smite it with a concentrated burst, or blade, of purest ether. However, we wanted for both the data and the means to forge such a weapon. Short of experimenting on an actual Asian, you see, there's no way to gauge how much ether its soul is made of. Okay. As such, we don't know what etheric density our blade needs to have in order for it to work. So if they have more ether in their soul, you need a higher density to damage it?
so we'll just have to make the densest blade we can and hope for the best. Though, that would require a lot of ether. So it's backwards. Souls that have more ether. I guess they're more dense then. You need a denser weapon. Hang on a minute. Why didn't we think of this before? White Aurasite can hold an absolute heap of ether, can't it? Please tell me you're joking. God's sakes, Ida. I feel as though I'm reliving the same scene over and over with you. How many <laughs> times do you need to be told that White Aurasite cannot store ether for long periods? Being intangible, Damn. Matter, ether is given to dispersion. Only in its crystallized form is it a stable source of energy. I will test you later on this, so see to it you do not forget. Right, yes. It's all coming back to me. Mm -hmm. So our hopes rest on good old crystals again, do they? While they are certainly reliable, they leave something to be desired in the area of portability. Indeed. I am reminded of the quantity of corrupted crystals required to thwart Leviathan, and the extraordinary lengths to which the Lamentsons went to transport them. What if it should prove that a similar quantity was needed to destroy an Asian soul, or still more? Hmm. I do not envy the poor sod who has to lug all of that around, on the off chance that an Asian appears. <laughs> That's the very problem we set out to solve, and I reckon we've found the answer. If it isn't practical to lug around the ether we need, we'll just have to draw upon another source. And the only viable source is the land. <sighs> if you mean to tap the Great River of Ether, know that it will entail considerable risk. Meddling with the currents may well induce a surge like to the one which despoiled Mordona. Dude, we shouldn't do that. That seems like a bad idea. Give me a bit more credit, will you? Why would we need to tap the river when there are veritable True. reservoirs jutting out all... True. I, I speak of corrupted crystals. It might be that their aspect is out of balance, but a crystal's a crystal. It contains ether, and we can help ourselves to it. While corrupted crystals are indeed abundant, there is no guarantee that they will be in close proximity at a crucial moment. 
something. But what if we don't need them to be? What if we could tap their power from afar? A uh, malm away, say? If we could do that, Yo, Zakari, we'd have so ready the access to either a plenty in almost every corner of Eorzea. I've yet to put my theories to the proof, but I've got a good feeling about this. If no one has any objections, I'd like to see where this avenue leads. If you think it's worth your while, you have my blessing. But tell us, what are your theories? I, for one, am most eager to understand the process, however vaguely. I thought you might say that. But no one wants to listen to boring old Unfortunately, that was not day, the mods you had to take I know I her. don't. So with your permission, I'd like to try something a bit more hands-on. I've already built an etheric siphon especially for this purpose, and I've been meaning to try it out. Cool. Thing is, the profusion of corrupted crystals in Mordona makes it something of a high-risk testing ground. If anything goes awry with the siphon, it would be better if it didn't happen within spitting distance of quite so much ether. Ideally, I need an isolated specimen. Does anyone know where I can find one? May I suggest Northern Thanalam? There you will find corrupted crystals of middling size, standing a reasonable distance apart. Ideal for your needs, I should have thought. Oh, and if you do elect to visit the place, I should be much obliged if you would assist me in another matter while you are in the area. Off and up. Has something happened? Movement has been observed at Castrum Meridianum. During Operation Archon, the Alliance dealt the stronghold a heavy blow. Its facilities were extensively damaged, and its garrison reduced to a fraction of its former strength. Have a good one, Nila. Alfie's always popping in. Not long after our forces withdrew, however, their ranks were replenished by reinforcements from Kostrom's sentry. They now seek to rebuild, and to this end, they have their sights set upon the Ceruleum processing plant. Having lost the Empire's support, the 14th Legion lacks the resources to sustain itself. To them, this is a bid for survival and they will doubtless fight like desperate men. Though I have dispatched the Crystal Braves, I fear their strength alone may not suffice to stay the Imperial assault. I would request the Scion's aid in the defensive effort. Volume does not keep changing. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to inveigle us into fighting your battle with the promise of shiny crystals. Yo, Inthot, thank you for the four months. I do appreciate that. Well then, consider me inveigled. I won't lie, the crystals you speak of sound perfect. So the Garleans have to go. Inveigled? The fuck? Besides, we can't afford to beat about the bush. There's no telling when the Arsians will next appear. True, you could be a fucking Arsian. Thine eagerness to hurl thyself into the jaws of danger cometh as little surprise. Exercise due caution, I prithee. Though you have become a crystal brave, you are yet a scion, Alfino. We could hardly refuse you. Pray, join the crystal braves and lend them your support. Thangrid and Papalimo shall accompany you. Ida and Yashtola, in the meantime, I would have you assist Moon Breeder. Scout out the crystal clusters, that the testing may commence as soon as the Garlean threat has been eliminated. Moon Breeder. Inveigled, 
Beagle pers equals persuaded. If it please you, I shall continue mine own experiments on white orosite. Sure. Thank you, Ariange. Everyone, pray see to your preparations and depart as soon as you are able. Go well and be safe. Nice. I could be playing the game right now, but I'm just watching him watch a cutscene. What a time to be alive. I know. Overall, <laughs> favorite character, probably Orange. Would seem that events had once more conspired. Hold on. It would seem that events have once more conspired to rob us of rest and recuperation. Though I would wish it otherwise, I must ask that you head straight away to the processing plant. The fourth have already been deployed to the area and await the arrival of the Scions. Will Red will uh, brief you on the developing situation. Meanwhile, I will. I must rendezvous with Captain Ilbert at our headquarters in Ulda. I shall take command uh, of our forces there with a lighter heart. Knowing that you go to support the front lines. Okay. Sounds good. Shabachu, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Your duties take you to Northern Thanaland, do they not? We too must say our farewells to the Rising Stones for a time. Flamine travels to Ulda. We shall serve her escort. At my daughter's behest, I go to contact certain old acquaintances in the Gilded City. Good for you. We are beset on all sides by civil unrest and imperial machinations. Threatened by primals and troubled by dragons, we need all the allies we can muster. Many of my friends hold positions of power, you see, and it is my hope that they can be convinced to aid the Scion's cause. If past events have taught us anything, we know that Eosia must present a united front, or we shall fall. Ah, how extraordinary that my little Asilia Asil is involved in such far-reaching affairs. I'm proud that I might now stand at her side, not only as a mother, but also as a colleague. A colleague with influential connections, but I fear that Ulda has become a place of danger even for one so familiar with her streets. Ah, what well, betide the blackguard so much as glares in your direction, my lady? You are. Okay, he's a literal white knight. I love it. Ah ha ha! I shall be well protected, it seems. Shall we be on our way, then? Fucker. That man's arms are as big as his legs. Hurry, boulder. Hurry, boulder. That's not his leg. Ikiri, tell me. We do seem to be running low on provisions. I believe an excursion to the marketplace is in order. Okay. For a small organization, we certainly chew through a prodigious amount of foodstuffs. Perhaps I should put a locker on the larger tour. Starve, everybody. Kothes have nine lives. True! Where we are right now in the story? 2.5. To the Cerellium Processing Plant. Can her jump get any cuter, though? My character? <laughs> What's been the biggest surprise for you so far? Um... 
I think the biggest surprise so far is that the Louis Swa that the whole Louis Swa primal thing. And like the fucking the Flames of Truth cinematic where he fucking late laser beams right through fucking Bahamut's chest. That was so sick. I thought that the uh I figured that the uh I thought that uh, Louis Swa, I thought it was fake. I mean, I guess the characters did too. Midgard Zamir was pretty good to deal. Midgard Zamir had some good fucking dialogue. I really like some of the things Midgard Zamir says to you. It's really interesting. Commander Leviorus and word that you'd be coming. A veteran of your talents is most welcome. Returning to the task at hand. I skipped dialogue, but who cares? The Flames Reconnaissance. Scouts have reported Imperial soldiers assembling at Rabon's push. Such a force is likely interested in only one thing. Getting their hands on the resources found here at the processing plant. The Garleans could begin marching on us at any time. Pray speak with Lieutenant Edelstein, that we might coordinate our counter-strategy. <laughs> Flames of Truth Part 2 cinematic, more like, please stop praying for our grandpa, you've made him too powerful. Kind of crazy to know that someone can just be made into a primal, though. That was kind of, that was kind of shocking. Corporal Mansa, my soldiers yet tell tales of your deeds during Operation Archon. Would that we could all sit a while and reminisce about old times. But I fear more pressing matters require our attention. The civilian draftsmen, draftsmen, you see, I come across several highly suspicious crates within the boundaries of the processing plant. I had my sappers take a closer look, and our worst fears were confirmed. These boxes contain powerful explosive devices. Devices of imperial design, no less. By my order, the flame stations here are to conduct a thorough sweep of the compound as we speak. They are conducting, I know. Though it troubles me that we were unable to apprehend the imperial spy behind this, I have faith that our men will be able to neutralize the threat for now. In the meantime, our scouts bring troubling news on the latest movements of the Imperial Army. I would once again ask for your aid. We've been keeping a close eye on that Galean garrison. It would seem that the Imperi Imperials have finally begun to mobilize. According to the reconnaissance report that just came in, the squads seen leaving the castrum are too few in number to effectively take and hold our position. They will likely mount a swift assault and focus on the acquisition of resources. I have, of course, also shared this report with the Crystal Braves. They decided to take to the field to meet this assault head-on. I've apprised your fellow signs of the situation, and am heartened to know that they will be joining the effort. Pray report to Lieutenant Alian. And lend your much welcome strength to the counter offensive. Speak with Dali and Hold on, I'm getting tricks. Glad to have you with us, Pyro. As I'm sure Lieutenant Eld Edelstein has explained, the Galeans have developed, have deployed a small force from Castrum Meridianum. Their main column assembles to the north near Dalamud's Talons, but we've also spied several squads attempting to conceal themselves on the approach to the west. Mm -hmm. What's up, Edelband? They wish you to rush forth and commit to battle with the main column leaving the detached force free to raid the plant and pillage supplies. Not much of a strategy, but these are desperate men. Captain Ilbert. Captain Ilbert! Whoops. Greetings, Sion. I, un I understand that the commander bid you and your fellow fellows come lend a hand to the Braves. With such mighty heroes at your disposal, the fort should have little trouble contending with aught the Galeans might throw at them. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. 
The third was getting restless holed up in Uldar, so I marched them out here to fill any holes in the plant's defenses and add their numbers to your counterattack. The reinforcements are welcome. Whoops. The reinforcements are welcome. Aye, right, it would be best to avoid staging a battle. Okay, Garlians, let's go fight them, Jesus Christ! We've got quite enough dialogue. Let's go fight them. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I've got 30 minutes, chat. Speak with you, Yasu. This is 2-5. A pleasure to be fighting at your side once more, Guardian. Now, this detached force we've... <laughs> this detached force we've been sent to eliminate has split into smaller squads. The better to conceal themselves within the, t the terrain hereabouts. We'll need to split ourselves up as well to cover more ground. And make sure we root out all these would-be raiders. Lower? Suck my balls, dude. And seeing, uh... How about this one? And seeing you're uh, an army unto yourself, I've assigned you your own areas to scour clean of enemy soldiers. Aye, this will be a simple search and destroy. How do you like that one? It's pretty good. Rendezvous back when the task is done. Happy hunting, Scion. You guys are literally toxic as fuck. Yo, Orlando Brave, thank you so much for gifting five subs to the channel. Really do appreciate that, thank you very much. Welcome, all the new subs. Welcome, welcome. Sorry you can't talk right now. It's all good. We've been kind of back CD today. It's kind of weird. We've been kind of like advice and input Andy all day today. It's kind of been sort of weird. That's why we're in emote mode. Is that retribution prayer right there? Framed. It's smited. Nice. You seem grim, Sion. I'll take that to mean that between us, more than a few Garleans won't be making it back to the Castrum. These Imperials, though, they certainly made us earn our pay. I would be happy, I'd be a happy man if I never had to tussle with another one of those Magitek horrors. It is time we bid this war-torn land farewell. I will contact the Fourth and let Lieutenant Alian know the West is now clear. I'd appreciate it if you would do the same when you report uh, when you report to Lieutenant Edelstein. Okay, I can do that. Corporal Manser, what news of the Garleans? The raiding parties are no more, then. 
Excellent. The uh, Armagina uh, engineers will be most relieved to hear that the plant is no longer in immediate danger. Yo, Kaiser Kai, thanks so much for the tier one. Thank you again for the assistance. Thank you. Lieutenant Edelstein appears concerned for Moon Greta's well-being. An uninvited Asian. You must be anxious for word of your fellows. Lieutenant Alien has reported a sound victory over the main column. It informs me that the Scions have already turned their attention to other duties. All but one, that is. The Rodagan lady with the large axe? It would appear she has chosen to remain at the site of the battle. I know not what task keeps her from returning to civilization, but Northern Thanalan is no place to wander alone. Even for a capable sort such as her. I would certainly feel better about things if you could check, on, check in on her before you continue your way. A second. The beast seemed peckish, so I gave it a taste of my axe. Oh. I know, I know. As Urianger never tires of reminding me, an axe ill becometh the hand of a scholar. <sighs> what can I say? I like axes. To hear my mother tell it, I came into this world holding one. Mm -hmm. And it's not as if it stopped me picking up a quill, is it? <laughs> I often think of the man who introduced me to the joys of learning. He's one of the reasons I decided to come to Eorzea. Him and my excruciatingly stiff childhood friend. Considering how unalike we are, it's a wonder we ever got on. <laughs> the world's a strange old place, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Aye, that ought to do it. So far, so good. At these concentrations, it shouldn't matter too much if something goes awry. Just enough ether to make it interesting. Did you see that? The way the crystal glowed? Yep. The siphon works, I'm happy to say. With a few refinements, it should satisfy our appetite for ether, which just leaves the small matter of forging the blade. Yo, thanks for the five. I really do appreciate that. Moin Brida. Moin Brida. I'm not sure how to go about it just yet, but I swear to find a way. I'll put a blade in your hands if it's the last thing I do. Uh, I wouldn't say that. It might be. She senses me. A useful talent. This guy's annoying as fuck. I don't like this one. Hanassian, are they onto us? By your brand, I see you are an Archon of Charlian. Keeper of knowledge. Seeker of truth. Meddler. I don't know what the hell's you're saying, but I don't much like your tone. <laughs> your instincts serve you well. But come, be not unsettled on my account. That lovely brow was not made for frowns. Ah, uh, but I waste my breath. Uh, okay. Kind of Let weird. me direct my words to one who understands them. We meet at last, warrior of light. I am Nabriales. And you have long been a thorn in my side. I suffered the overweening presence of Lahabrea that men might host the power of gods, only for you to undo my hard work. Oh, bugger. Oh. Yeah, maybe 
Maybe not a good idea. Do settle down. You must concede that I acted in self-defense. But what's this? I do not sense the blessing of light. Oh, dear. Could it be that frail Heidlin has forgotten her champion? This I did not foresee. You're dumb. Shorn of light as you are, you are no longer a threat. And better yet, the seal is broken. Now is the time to claim the staff. The staff? What are you talking about? Oh. The staff of Louis Archon Louis Swamp? With it in my grasp, I shall rise above them all and take my place at Lord Zodiac's right hand. The Asians competing to become Zodiac's champion? I'm Asian Prime. What did that bastard want with us? Nobrialis, he calls himself. <laughs> with charm like that, I'll bet he has maidens falling at his feet. Unconscious. <laughs> but this... Fuck! Oh, gods. He means Tupsimati. Oh. Master Louis Soir's staff. Minfilia's in danger. We have to get back to the Rising Stones. I'm shocked. Do I act surprised? Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh-oh. You too. So, you were able to divine my intent. What now, warrior of light? Ah, but that name is no longer fitting. You have become decidedly dull and quite incapable of barring my entry.
What do you mean? You truly do not know. Then I suppose it is only right that I enlighten. Yo, Squire, Squire DB and uh, Jono, thank you so much for the subs. The blessing of light kept you and your fellow meddlers safe. It was that which prevented my kind from entering your domain. Nice. My kind, I say. Though it had no power over the likes of Elidibus and La Habrea. Being of this world, they could come and go as they please, while I could only look on. Mm. Is that why Elidibus and, uh... And uh, La Habrea are able to stand next to the Archbishop and not be like found out. That's fucking weird. So some of the Asians are from different worlds. Or is it talking about like the world of darkness? I'm not sure. But I need look no longer. Now that the seal is gone, I mean to act. Unlike the others, I am not given to waiting. I shall take that staff and bring about the next rejoining. Joining? Then it was your doing. The Isle of Val, the scholars, all of it. You will not harm her!
Oh, she's fucking dead. Moonbreeder! Rip. Why must you insist on forcing my hand? Did you learn nothing from our last meeting? Ah, but I forget. My words fall upon deaf ears. The staff is but a broken relic. A memorial to the departed. What possible use could you have for it? What use? You mean to say that all this time you kept the key, never knowing what it was you possessed? Um... How do you... Can one of the mods... How do you spell... What was the staff called again? Tupsimadi. The key, it's a key. And she didn't know, and he didn't know that she didn't know. The staff Tupsimati, or rather the stone tablet it bears, is host to a great power. Together with the horn, it can be used to draw vast quantities of ether from its bearer's surroundings. What horn? The thing on the staff? Am I tri- Is that what he's talking about? That's convenient of either from its bare surroundings. How else do you think Louis Swa was able to invoke the power of the Twelve without making them an offering of crystals? So even the Twelve need an offering of crystals. Summoning requires not only prayer, but a profusion of ether. Even a child knows that. If I did not know before, you may be certain I do now. But above all, I know that we cannot allow this staff to fall into your hands. I will die before I let you take it. Probably. Insufferable woman. I would happily end your miserable life here and now. Alas, Elidibus would never let me hear the Elidibus end. Elidibus wants Menphilia alive.
Very well. If you will not part with the staff, I will take you too. Oh no. Should have Spartan kicked her in. them quickly before the rift closes smited huh. interesting that he wants her alive the chrysalis is now accessible I hate to do this to you guys. I really do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got to I've got to go have dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've been streaming for 5 hours, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Today was a bonus. Today, w yeah, it is the music. Today was a bonus stream. Today was a bonus stream. Hey, don't forget that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, Moonbrita. What's going on? Oh shit. What's up, girl? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good thing no one can see that. Alright, guys. Thank you for an awesome stream. Thank you for all of the follows. Thank you so much for all of the subs. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you for the tips. Thank you for just chatting and trying to hang out with me and have a great time. So, are you still going to try and stream tomorrow? Yes. I'm sure that Heaven's Ward will actually happen tomorrow. I am streaming tomorrow. 12 p.m. Pacific time. I'm sure that we'll actually get to Heaven's Ward. So, be there or be square. If you're new to my stream and you've enjoyed yourself, please make sure that you follow. It's the best way to know when I go live. We are always looking to introduce new and exciting things to the stream, like our new sub badges, which we had implemented today. Congratulations to those that have some of those newer awesome sub badges. They are, uh, they are Assy and Mask sub badges which I'm really, really enjoying. I think they look fantastic. They were done by one of our mods, Christafact, a.k.a. Davey. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much, man, for doing that. That's pretty amazing. We are going to... We're going to go ahead and raid somebody. Let's see. We're going to raid this person. Don't think we've raided her yet, but she looks to be doing some kind of Heaven's Ward content, so I'm going to... Go ahead and just pause her stream and not really look at it. Any closing thoughts on Titan? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was it was a little tougher, but I really like the 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 tight timing mechanical execution, dude. I like that shit. I like that shit a lot. So uh yeah. It was good. Titan. Old Titan was a pug killer? I bet, man. I want to get into the, the other uh, extremes, dude. Some of them are sick. Some of them I, I really want to do on, on extreme. I thought I'd done more, but I, apparently I haven't. Um, Yo, I don't, uh, I'm not asking you to sub. I'm not asking you to follow this person. But if you want to head over in the raid, that would probably help to make this person's day fucking sick. Large raids are always really fun. You guys spam a bunch of emails, show a little bit of love, and then dip out once you're uh, once you're finished, so... We'll head over there. We'll just make someone's day. I don't know this this person, but we'll. And it looks like they're playing the Black Mage. So yeah, that's fucking sick. 
I am streaming tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. Hey guys, go go sub to my YouTube. I'm putting videos out. Go jump in my Discord. It's uh, anyone can join. It's a good place to chat and have a good time. Uh, my Twitter's inactive, but you guys should go and check out my Patreon, which I'm going to be working on to make better here soon. As always, guys, I'd really appreciate a follow. And if not that, uh, hey, maybe I'll get you next time. So thanks for coming and hanging out. I appreciate you guys very much. Stay awesome. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.